Hi, welcome back to Nature Aquariums TV, where today we're going to go over how to hook up your Spectral X controller from Kessel to your Kessel lights. But before we get with our video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Very simple, we love the Kessel lights. I've been using them for many, many years, and a lot of questions we get asked, how do we hook this up? How do we give it sunrise to sunset? How do we set up these programs? Well, as you may know, Kessel lights are very unique in which that they don't put the onboard Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or any controller on there. They're meant for you to manually control them with analog uh, controls. And for many years, they use a zero to 10 volt controller that you could use would say an Apex system or their previous generation controllers. Since then, they did go to the X line, which is, uses a USB-C type controller and it is fully digital. Now with those, you can add the Wi-Fi dongle to them, which allows you to hook it up to your Wi-Fi network and to your smartphone app. And a lot of customers have asked as well, I really don't need an A360X or the 500X. I like a smaller light. What can I do? And the A80 is wonderful at 15 watts or the really almighty 160, which is great for medium sized tanks, but they do lack the digital controller. So you cannot add the Wi-Fi uh, module to it. One thing that they all share are these daisy chainable input and output ports. You pop these things in and it kind of looks like a headphone jack connection, which is what this cord does. And you say, well, what I hook this up with? Well, Kessel came out with this controller that allows you to hook up both the K-Link, which is their digital controller, or the zero to 10. And what this does, it gives you all the functionality of the app in which it allows you to create a profile, ramp up and down the timing so you can have a sunrise to sunset control. On the analog models that like the A80 or the 160, it does allow you to change the color as well as the intensity, and it will allow you to ramp it up and down on your days. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna hook one of these up to one of our Kessel tanks that are run with the A160 light. That's a 40 watt light. It comes both in tuna sun and tuna blue for fresh water and for salt water. So let's get these things open and show you what comes in a box. So this is really nice in your unboxing here, you actually get the control cable for the X-Series. You also get an analog cable for the A80 and 160 version. As you can see, that plugs in. Now, the nice thing is that you can daisy chain multiple lights together. So you would go from the input, from the controller to the output, and then the output would go to the input of the following light. Inside here, this is your power supply, and this is a very nice mounting bracket, and it is magnetic. So you mount this on the inside of your cabinet, and this allows it to be powered. Down here, you get the K-Link control. This is for the digital lights. This is for the USB power, and this one is for the zero to 10. I'm gonna pull this out and we're gonna go mount this in a tank. All right, so we already mounted the magnetic plate on the, uh, on the cabinet over here. We're gonna just put this out of the way for a minute. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run the wire from the Kessel light down into the cabinet. These wires, they're very nice. They're nice and long, they're 10 feet, and they give you a right angle end and a straight end. In my opinion, you have to look at the way your mounting is. So in this case, the cabling is going more of an upright path because of the gooseneck fitting that we're using. So I'm gonna use the vertical, the straight connector, and we're gonna pop out the one that says input. Mount it like that. We're gonna get some zip ties and run these wires all the way in and through the cabinet. So the Spectral X controller gets powered via USB. It comes with a micro USB cord. There's a little cap at the bottom. I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna plug in the power cord. It does not come with a USB brick, so you're gonna have to supply one of those. 
but most power strips nowadays have a USB port on them, and that's how you can power this. Then here at the bottom, I'm going to plug in the controller, and now I detected uh, the lamp. So this has up-down touch-sensitive controls. So the first thing we want to do is set the time. We like the 12-hour. This little button over here is to exit the menu. This has a demo mode that you can do, uh, basically play around with this. So in our case, if you wanted to show to your friends and family what this does, or in, here at the store we would use the demo mode, and normal means that it goes back and uses the programs. So now we want to use, one thing I have to point out, if you're using the A80 or the 160, even if you're using a tuna sun which is the white light please use the preset tuna blue this over here for dashboard allows you to quickly manually cycle we can do clouds we can do adjust the color there we go zero to ten that's what the analog lights are we can increase the color and you can see here the tank, if we go color to 100%, that is white. To blue. And what's nice now, you know exactly where the 50-50 is. Then we go to intensity. Press up and down for maximum brightness. And to least intensity. One of the other things that you can do, it has storm mode in which it'll recreate stormy and lightning bolt effects. This is all being done with the analog controller and this just goes to show you the power that Kessel has and that they've really adapted to these lights. And then you have rolling clouds. And what clouds will do, it'll simulate rolling clouds and by darkening and increasing the lighting to simulate a uh, normal cloud cover day over the ocean. So you can see right now it's rolling very, very natural and it gives it for a very serene look. This is great to do that if you're at home on one of these rainy days. Now that we played with the manual mode, what we want to do is actually work on creating a program. And we want to go preset blue and they give you a couple of predetermined programs quick set so now we set the time the first time we want at 10 a.m. we're going to go to color we want to be deep blue and we want the intensity at 10%. I'm going to start dropping that color to blue and at 6 o'clock we want that deep blue but we want to start bringing down that power down to 10 and by 7.30 when we are closed to zero and with that we save so it's important to note that your programs are going to be saved under program so there's a couple of them that are default you can uh, scroll by quick set one that's the one that I created so you see it there you can do multiple programs hit the up button when you go here on your main one you have to select which program do you want to run you go down you have to select from the 0 to 10, that's the lamp that you're controlling, and you want to select your quick set tuna blue one. See, there's all different ones, and the ones that I want is the quick set tuna blue one. And now it's going to show you exactly where you're running on the programs. With that, you leave it there on your dashboard, you make sure that you use the up and down buttons to select, and then 
you will uh, know which program you're running. If you ever want to switch programs, uh, you can do that. Like if you're doing a coral acclimation, you add new corals, then you can do the program with less power. That's something to keep in mind. This allows you to make a bunch of different macros. So if you're adding corals or if you want to acclimate fish, whatever you want to do, you can save those, have them pre-programmed, and then select for the ones they're going to do. I showed this on the blue. You would do the exact same thing using the blue feature sets on an analog 160 or 80 if it's a white light for the planted tanks. That's one thing people get hung up. They think that they need to use a different program. You use the zero to 10 and the blue, and then you set that up and it'll work just the same way. By changing the color and the intensity, you'll change the color of the yellow to white light and the intensity as well. As always, we appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much for your support. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and leave your comments below, and have an awesome fish keeping days, guys.